Good morning and happy Thursday. Just finished a great workout and ready to hustle and grind out and make it a great day. Hey, remember throughout the day to live on purpose with passion. One of my associates today was very upset. A home she sold two weeks ago for her seller uh, did not appraise and is creating a lot of issues today. So I thought I'd just take a moment and talk a little bit about appraisal. Now the appraisal will be performed by a licensed professional called an appraiser. And the appraiser is gonna visit the house that's under contract. Or if there's a refinance, the house is gonna be refinanced. And take photos of the house, take measurements of the house also. After the appraiser has done the work at the house, the appraiser is going to go back to their office and put together an analysis of the property. They're going to uh, use the photographs they took. They're going to use comparable sales. And they're going to uh, do a, a full evaluation to determine the fair market value of the property, what they feel the property is worth in today's market. Now, there's two main reasons for the appraisal. One is it will protect the buyer, ensure the buyer is not overpaying for the house in today's market. The appraisal also protects the lender to ensure the lender is not uh, lending on an overpriced house. So the lender is going to lend a certain percentage of the sale price or the appraisal price, whichever is less. So if a buyer is putting 20% down, the lender is going to lend 80% of the sale price or the purchase price, whichever is less. So if it appraises for less than the purchase price, the lender is going to want to lend only 80% of the appraisal price. Now, if the house doesn't appraise, there are a couple options that the buyers and sellers have, and I'll go over those options tomorrow. So we just wrapped up things for closing tomorrow. A couple last-minute glitches we took care of today. My seller's moving out of state, so they signed a deed package in advance. So all the uh, deed transfer things are finalized. Our last piece of business was to take care of the wire instructions. So the title company here can wire them funds down to the title company in their new, where their new home is. So we'll be settling on my seller's house here in the morning, and then they'll be settling on their new house out of state in the afternoon. I'll be representing the seller at closing. I'll be signing the documents for the seller. They've given me a uh, power attorney to do that. After they're closing here, I'll be sending the uh, closing documents down to the title company of where they're buying and then the fund, the title company here will wire the funds to the title company down there. So everything's finalized and we should be good to close tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock. Looking forward to it, so my clients. As I wrap up a day of accomplishment and going the extra mile for my clients, I'm reminded of Wayne Dyer's quote, it's never crowded along the extra mile. And that's uh, one of my tenants, you know, go the extra mile, do what I have to do in order to service my clients. I have a great evening. And God bless.